Yo, what is up guys? Before my video, I wanted to show you something very cool that I recently received today. This is because we won Call of Duty Champs. Scuff Gaming hooked us up with an insane controller. I'm going to show you this. This controller is literally the sickest thing I've ever seen. Alright, let's see this. As you can see, it has the wolf right here. You can kind of see it. I didn't really point at it, but it's the wolf as a thing. Then if you look on the back, it says, Denial Attach Scuff Champ 2015. This is honestly the sickest controller. It's gold plated and everything. Like, I don't know. I'm in love with this controller. I don't think I'm going to use it, to be honest. I'm probably going to put it in like a glass box, put it in a museum somewhere. Because this controller is flipping awesome. Thank you so much for Scuff Gaming. And hope you guys enjoy the video coming up. Peace. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Tatchman today. I'm bringing another video today. And actually, I'm going to be talking about my past weekend at Call of Duty Champs. What went down? all the games outside of the games what happened what we were thinking throughout the whole tournament so i'm gonna give you guys a little breakdown of that so uh, yeah let's get into it so on thursday i went to school there was actually a pep rally that day so everyone was there everyone started cheering denial denial i posted it on my instagram my instagram is down below if you want to go see that video i also posted a lot of pictures throughout the weekend so you're definitely gonna look at those also and the weekend was amazing let me just say that but so back to where i started pep rally thursday and we started cheering then blah, 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 stuff all happened. Then I left school early, got picked up, and they took me out to L.A. to the JW Marriott. Then I saw everyone. I got to the lobby. I'm like, yo, what's good? What's good? What's good, everyone? How are you guys' days? How was your flights? Everything. Started talking all that. So Thursday, nothing really happened. We just kind of chilled because uh, we played Friday. And then we, and then on Friday, we woke up. We played, I forgot where they were from, but we played a team. We just completely destroyed them, beat them, like, by 250 to like 30 in hard point 6 one s and &E. yeah they took a round i'm very sorry and also 21 to 0 in uplink so we just completely destroyed them and then we played prophecy and this was a like good team in our pool like we're always like everyone was like why is prophecy in a denial esports pool because optic and us were the one and two seeds so we weren't supposed to have like a uh what's it called a north american team in our pool but i guess it was a lie because we both had a North American teams in our pool. But we ended up, we went up 2 over them in map count. And then, uh, I think it was Biolab CTF. We just choked. We choked really bad. They destroyed us on the map. But then we're like, okay, it's all good. You know, we're up 2-1. We have comeback uplink, one of our really good maps coming up. So, uh, let's get this. And then we put comeback uplink. We lost. We're, and everyone's like, guys, what's happening? I don't know what's going on. Why are we losing this? And then the S&D last map, s and we just got railed. They destroyed us. But after that, I was just like, I was like thinking in my head, this happened for a reason. Like, there's there's not a reason we just lost like that just to lose and go to the Ugh, My bad. Excuse me. Voice crack. Don't make fun of me. So um yeah, I was thinking in my head. There's like there's a reason we lost that. Like th there's no way we're just gonna lose it just to lose and go into bracket play. And the reason was I didn't know this at the time, but I knew something was gonna happen. We ended up playing Optic Gaming in the first round of bracket play, and I don't know why. But I was very excited to play them. I was really confident in my team. I was really confident we were going to win. Also, I always have been saying that like, playing Optic is the best in the early part of the tournament. Because that's when they're like not on hot. They're not on fire. But if you play them in finals like we have been, they're really good. They're all on point. They all are warmed up and have been playing. But if you catch them while they're cold and not really warmed up, they're a lot easier to beat. So that's what I always thought. And I was really excited to play them first game. Because I knew this was our, our chance to beat them finally. So yeah, we ended up playing them. And uh, your boy, your boy went off in the hard point in the S and D. So I think I dropped like 44 and then 13 in the second map. And then we lost Biolab Uplink, so it was 2-1. Then we ended up beating them on CTF Ascend. Shout out to Clay and Cap for carrying replays and I. Replays and I just got a bunch of returns, but Clay and Cap slayed around the whole map and did all the work. So we ended up beating Optic Gaming. And then we had to play TK. And right before we we're about to play TK, all these teams like uh, Envy lost to Aware, Owen lost to AR. And FaZe lost to... Who did FaZe lose to? I forgot. FaZe lost to someone, though. And so all those teams were losers. And we were about to like TK. So I'm like, guys, we have to win this match. I do not want to go into losers. And that's because it's literally a road to death. Like, there were so many good teams there. I did not want to face them. It was just... Did not want to go through that stress of having to go to losers again. So we ended up playing TK. And I don't know what was up with us, but we just destroyed them. We were on point that day. We played really well. Ended up winning that game. And then we had to play... We were guaranteed top six after that. So then we played AR and what was it called? Yeah, we played AR and for top three. And we played them in first map. 
we started off the game. It was Hardpoint Biolab. We got we won the break, and then BL Fire settings say so didn't have some settings on, so they had to end the game and restart it. And we're like, dude, what? We were up, we just won the break on bad side of Biolab. Like, what doesn't even make sense? But we're like, whatever, we'll just replay it. Then we replayed it and got destroyed by them. They completely destroyed us on that map. So we were all a little salty in our heads. We were like. Everyone was really mad, like, like this is bullshit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, guys, or everyone's like, come on, we got to calm down, go into the second map, we have to focus up, it's not over yet, we can't just keep bitching, we have to win this series. So, we won the Detroit City 6-4, and then it was uplink, comeback, we got them like 20, 20 to 3 or something like that, we destroyed them. And then we played CT Ever Tree and ended up beating them then. So, that finished off our Saturday. We just beat AR for top three, and we were guaranteed top three. So that's 30,000 each if we were put as third. And there's only going to be three teams making it to Sunday. So I was like, before, on early Saturday, I was like, oh, dude, we got to do this. We got to go hard. I really want to make it to Sunday and, like, prove we're a really good team. So I'm pretty sure we were, like, the first team to make it into Sunday for sure. And then, yeah, that's just how our night ended. Uh, me and some friends walked to Chipotle. Got some Chipotle because you know that you have to have Chipotle. That's just good luck at events, to be honest. So we had that, then went back to our hotel and just went to sleep. So Sunday night, this is or yeah Sunday morning. This is where things got good. We woke up around nine. We had to play like eleven, but we woke up at nine. All right, I think we woke up at eight thirty or like eight fifteen. Uh, got dressed, shower, blah blah blah, all that. Went to the venue and started. Uh, practicing at nine, so we went there really early to get really good practice because that's how bad we wanted. We wanted to win this tournament, so we went two hours early to practice. Practice for around an hour and forty-five minutes straight, just free for alls, everything, just free for alls, just all that stuff. So we were playing that, and then we played TR in our first match, and I think it was CTR or Hardpoint Retreat, and we uh, we like obliterated them on that map, and then we played SND. I forgot what the SND was the second SND we played them in. I'm not sure, but. I think we lost it. Yeah, I think we lost it. And then we won the uplinger. Yeah, we won the uplink. No, no, no. We won the CTF. And so we were up 2 1 in map count. And then we lost the Detroit uplink. And it was the saddest moment of my life, probably. Like, we were up 7 to 2 with around 2 minutes left, maybe like a minute 30. And. We just choked so bad. We just started playing so unorganized and lost full composure. Like, we just started playing like idiots. Like, doing the dumbest stuff I could ever, like, imagine. And they ended up coming back and winning. And, uh, yeah, they won that map. So, we were in last map, SND Solar. We're like, oh, shit, man. Like, we really just choked that. This series should be over. But then we all, like, we're all like, okay, it's fine. We just have to clutch up right here. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, we won three rounds straight on SND Solar. But then they won four straight. So, it was 3-4. And I'm like, guys, come on, let's go. We just won three, let's win three again. And we won three rounds straight. But the last round, when we were at 5-4, something special happened. Your boy, attach, I warriored people on land. I don't know how I do it or did it, but I'm a warrior on land. I must have brought my modem with me because um, who got first blood? I think we got first blood, and then Clay got traded. And the, they, they planned the bomb on B, s &E Solar. So... There was two of them in fan, and I somehow got to the front side of B. I was choking shots on the guy that was in the door, and I finally started, got my shot right, and hit him. Then there was a guy in the window. I literally jumped up. Like, did, it didn't even look like I shot a bullet. I jumped up and, like, one-bulleted him in the window. It was the craziest kill I've ever gotten in my life. And then, so it was a 2v1. And then the last guy jumped out. I jumped back and killed him. And I started shooting and teabagging his body. Not because, like, to show it's not to be disrespectful or anything, but I was literally in shock. I do not know how I killed the second guy. Till this day, I still do not know. It looked like I one bulleted him in the video. So I was like, oh my god, how did I do that? I just kept saying, how did I do that? How did I do, how did I do that? How did I do that? How did I do that? For the next like hour, I was like in shock. So yeah, that happened. So we were guaranteed a spot in grand finals, top two. And then TR and FaZe had to play each other. TR ended up winning. And then we played him in finals again. We, we destroyed him on the hard point again. Got 6 would on, uh, what's it called? Drift SND. We got 6 would I'm like, guys, because going into that, we're like, oh, this is our good map. Let's, let's take this. Like, we got this. And then we got 6 would I'm like, it's a DLC map. Who cares? Like, it's whatever. And then, what was the map? It was, oh, CTF Bio. Oh, no, no, no. It was Uplink Comeback. 
no, 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 yeah, 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 Upland Comeback, and they beat us in Upland Comeback, they played them out really well, and we, they just outplayed us and beat us, so, CTF Biolab, we beat them 6-2, to two. the game was really that close, we just destroyed them there, and then last map, because if we lost this last map, we would have went into another best of five, and that just would have been the struggle, like, we did not want to do that, but, last map, it was SND Riot, we ended up winning 6-4, and it was just the scariest like moment of my life. We were up five two, and I'm like, like that's that's when I got the thought in my head. I'm like, dude, we can do this. We can win Call of Duty championships if we win one more SND round. One more round, we're all 100k richer, get rings and a huge ass check. So I was like, dude, we can do this. Like I believe, I believe that we will win. I was like, I was going ham. And then we lost two rounds, and your boy's like, Ugh, like fuck, what are we doing? But then we finally clutched up. It was. They had offense, we have defense. It was up it was five four round count. And they planted the bomb A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planted the bomb A Street on Riot. And it was four v four. So Cal came out of fire, killed a guy by near bomb, and then Clay and I jumped out of A side and killed one more guy. So it was a two V two V three because they killed Cap. And then replays was their top three. Got a kill on a guy their back triple A C and ran down the uh, wall to go on the single AC towards fire. And Facino put shots into him, was choking shots. So we knew exactly where Facino was. And they're like, get on bomb, get on bomb, get on bomb. So I just started reeling. I was, I was like, beep, beep, beep. Oh, wait, I forgot how you're doing this game. But I was on bomb. And literally, this bomb took so long to defuse. It was the longest bomb defuse of my life. Like, I literally felt like I was there for 30 seconds just going like, beep, 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 beep. I was like, dude, please just defuse already. But it was a 3v1. Clayster and uh, Replays had Vicino trapped, so they killed him, and then I'm like, dude, we did it, but my teammates were all jumping up, getting all excited, and I was still defusing the bomb, like I said, this is a 30 second bomb defuse, I don't know why, but I was holding the bomb, I was like, dude, I got this, I got this, I got this, and then we finally, like, I finally defused the bomb, I'm like, I'm like, we did it, ah, and I started freaking out, and that's what happened, so, Call of Duty Championships was an amazing experience, and I I don't even know if I'll ever win a tournament that big again. I'm glad it was my first tournament I ever won. It was a huge tournament. I was super excited. And it was just it was an insane experience. And I'm so glad to be able to call myself like the youngest world champion of all time. Because there's very few champions. There's even fewer world champions. And to be the youngest one of all time while still in school is just like, it's just insane. So I want to thank all you guys for your support over the weekend. I was getting so many tweets. Like, you guys can do this. This is your tournament. Hashtag Wolfpack. Hashtag Denial. Hashtag Attaches the Motherfucking Best in the Game. And I was like, thank you guys. Like, I really appreciated it. And um, this is it for this video. As always, my name's Attach, and I'm out. Peace.